<clears throat> we should have a talk. And don't worry, I'm not quitting YouTube. I'm trying my best not to. I know, if you've seen the videos on the channel or have been around for a while with me, Crash Master, you probably know that I have gaps in my channel's history if you look. Even some pretty big gaps, like going on for multiple months gaps. And that's not really by choice a lot. Now, I was thinking about breaking down certain scenarios where basically how many times this has happened in a way. But honestly, I'm thinking of doing that later in my channel's life, hopefully, where basically I just go ahead and I say uh, it's 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 um it's going to be uh ha like your life, like one of those video uh essays or videos about like your life. Like, this is my life, in a way, like, how to draw my life. Like, sort of like that. I'm not sure if it'll do something, if it'll be drawn by me or someone else or something like that. Maybe it'll do, maybe I'll do my own style. Maybe I'll do something like Stampy Long, who knows, or Stumpy Longhead, where he did it in Minecraft, which is honestly a very interesting take on it. Uh, I, I'm not really sure. Honestly, I might save that on a whole nother day. But, anyway, that's not the purpose of this video. The purpose of this video is is to say, I'm trying to come back to YouTube. I'm trying my best mods. And honestly, it's... Even making this video is a bit difficult right now. It's even difficult right now as I'm speaking, recording this. But it's about time. And you all deserve to know what's been going on with me. Now, where do I start? Well, I, I'm going to be looking this way because I have Google Doc printed out. And it's called 2024, well, printed out, it's typed out. It's called 2024 and the future. Now, I finished YouTube, well, I say finished, I didn't finish. I finished off YouTube the, the year with, with a few videos, at least, uh, around, um, around October to early November, I believe, just about, where... I was I made a few unboxing videos as you can see back there some of the stuff you can see some of the Five Nights at Freddy's um like mini uh Funko Pops right the, the mystery minis not Funko Pops no the mystery minis the Five Nights at Freddy's mystery minis and those videos did actually pretty damn well cons for me considering all things and I wanted to, to thank every single one of you for liking the video and just watching the video I honestly did not expect that to really do super well, super well. But I honestly can't believe they they did that actually that way. I did make I made like two, I believe, um, for each of those box sets, the AR and the security breach ones. But thank you all nonetheless. But either way, after that, I made a few of my Michael Afton videos where I myself, the Crash Master, played as Michael Afton, and honestly, it was awesome because I've never ever done anything like that on the channel or really at all like i've I, I love halloween halloween's one of my favorite holidays on the channel you might know that as well if you've seen sort of things where for the last couple of years or i try to at least i try to upload horror theme games and stuff like that slenderman find it's a freddy's bending ink machine <clears throat> uh, a few other things like that but and, and i sometimes even change the banner on my channel as well where it, it might say happy halloween or maybe it's just like all orange uh, i might need to check back but this one i did it for michael so since he's you know he's purple because you know fun it's a freddy's uh, it's like that i did a purple banner as well where i think it says something like hello Mart, it's me michael or maybe it said father it's me michael and i did that but you might have noticed ever since then, in like the October pretty much, there have been no uploads whatsoever. And there's a reason for that. 2023 was supposed to be a great year in general for the channel. I was going to do so many projects, so much good stuff. It was going to be like one of the things where it's like, this year, I want to actually full force go into YouTube as much as I can. Like, really do something with the channel and do stuff I've never done before. I've always dreamed about doing. Doing some vlogs, going places, doing videos with more friends and putting more effort into the videos as well. It was going to be, like, something I wanted to really put a lot more time and effort into. But then I got COVID. Not just once, but twice. But before that, we have to go a bit more back in time. 
but more because I said I, I, I got COVID earlier in 2023 and now it's 2024. But now we're going to go over it. So, yes, the last videos I uploaded were on November 3rd, 2023, and they were two videos to finish off the spooky month, October of that year. The two being a FNAF 6 video and FNAF 3 video as well, since I did my, played as Michael Afton for Final Fantasy Freddy's 3 and Final Fantasy Freddy's 6. And man, I love them. Honestly, I feel like FNAF 3 is a little bit underrated in a lot of ways. Because the, to the people I talk to, and even just some of the internet criticism, I know there's a lot more criticism with things like FNAF 2, and especially with Sister Location, ever since like the Uh Yeah video kind of blew up. But I honestly like Sister Location quite a bit, even though it's not... It's one of those things where it's like hard. Because the thing is, some of my favorite FNAF games of all time, in general, are probably FNAF 6... FNAF Sister Location, and I honestly, ever since I played the game, FNAF Final Fantasy Freddy's 3. Now, I don't know if that's biased. I liked Sister Location and FNAF 6 before even just, like, really recording them, just watching the gameplay and getting to Final Fantasy Freddy's. But ever since I played with, as Michael Afton in FNAF 3, I kind of got a little more attached to it. I don't know if that's really fair. I try to keep everything as unbiased as possible with that, with this statement, but... Either way, moving on, we're getting a little off topic. Maybe that'll be a video for another day on how I made it and what I did and stuff like that. Because that video, though making those videos was a bit of a, a task on its own, honestly. But, yeah. But, what happened exactly before those videos of last year? August of 2022. I began another college semester. Like, any person really should. And, it was alright. I did fairly well. I actually think I did fairly well. I think I only failed one class, but that's only because the one class I took was more of like, I want to see what I can do with this class, and it was French. Just letting you all know, Mike, I'm terrible at languages at all. Seriously, I have like, I'm getting a little ahead of myself, but I have things in here that basically I'm not great at. My memory is not terrible. But it's not perfect or great by any means, usually. Especially in the days when I was younger. Or in certain things where... Um, it's it's where... Even with the things I like, I sometimes forget things or might miss, um, uh, like mix it up. It's rare if I really do something like really, really like, Oh my god, this was a huge thing. How did I forget or mess up? But either way, when it comes to languages, even though even in my fa my own family... It's very much not my strong suit. Not at all. Not not even close. Like, I, I, I failed Spanish in high school. I had to retake it. And luckily, I passed the second time. Especially since that teacher, honestly, was a lot better, in my opinion. But either way, point being, I took French. I failed it. I liked the teacher. She was nice to me. She understood. I, I think I did, like, a D... Uh, I, uh, I opted out or something like that uh, near the end or, or whatever. Either way... Didn't really affect me that much. Everything else I passed. But towards the end of the semester, because it's August or late August to m like mid-December, I believe, something like that, something around there. Uh, it's in December nonetheless. And it's 2022, by the way, about a year and a half ago, give or take. In November of 2022, and I'm already choking up because this is kind of hard for me to really still talk about. I got COVID-19. Yep. Now, for those of you who have don't really know why it's called COVID-19, even though I'm pretty sure the people who watch these videos are very, very intelligent, COVID was this version of COVID was discovered in in 2019 at the end of la of the year 2019, December 31st, 2019. That's why it's not like COVID 2020 or COVID 20, even though 2020 and everything else were like, oh yeah, that was the year of COVID and stuff like that. It's because it was discovered that strain of the virus. It was literally discovered the last year of 2019, the last day, last year. Oh god, <laughs> that would be bad. The last day of 2019. What a present, right? Two decades. Oh, yeah, this was amazing. This is great. Let's go. Like, imagine I'm 20, like, oh, yeah, the last year of the decade. This decade was awesome. What's going to happen? Oh, man, it's ending. I don't want myself to end. You know what? I'm going to screw over the next decade. You little, 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 this. Hey, 2020, I got a, I got a present for you. Catch. And <laughs> he's like, thanks. <laughs> but either way. Yeah, and I was on it. I did get vaccinated, 
Um, do I actually have my wallet on me? I don't think so, unfortunately, at the moment. But, yeah, I did get vaccinated. Um, look, honestly, I hate needles in general. I hate doc- I don't hate doctors. I don't hate doctors at all. Um, it's very untrue. But, honestly, I just don't like things- I, Ever since I was a child, I hate needles. And, honestly, why would you? It's a piece of sharp metal- poking into your body and injecting stuff into you or taking blood out and honestly it's just painful to me as well especially since they have to poke me because my veins are very very deep and it's very hard like they even had to prod my hands a few times like you probably can't see like it's it's not like a big deal or anything it was usually around here around here or on this hand around here like usually on the the the, the inner parts of my hand and it was not comfortable, it hurt, and it was always just, like, bad, especially as a child where I was, like, screaming and crying. It was really, really bad. I feel so bad about that, too. But, anyway, I got vaccinated. I even got the booster when that came out. So, I got three or four vaccinations. I want, At least three. I don't remember which ones because I don't want to really bring any of that stuff up. I'm not sure how much controversy and stuff because I know there was a whole anti-vax thing with certain people. But, um, either way... November 2022, like, I'm lucky, because it was almost three years, almost three years with no sick or COVID or anything, and I was, I'm happy for those, for that almost three-year period, but then I got it in November 2022, and I was upset, because the fact that I had to get needles and shots that made my arm sore for a few days or a week or two, and guess why? It didn't do anything! I mean, maybe. I don't know. Like, this is a virus. It mutates. It changes and stuff like that. Even with the booster, though, I still got sick and it pissed me off. It really cheesed me off. It pissed me off. I was really, really upset and angry. <sighs> but what happened, happened. So, November 2022, I caught COVID for the first time around Thanksgiving. Literally, I think it was around Thanksgiving. And you might be, if you might have caught that first time, oh yeah, I got it again. Thankfully, once again, spooky month, I was able to enjoy my spooky month for a little bit. But then, guess when? Christmas! I got it at Christmas! Yay! Ho, ho, ho! Happy, Merry, happy birthday! <laughs> Merry Christmas, Crash Master! Here's a present! Thanks, Santa! <laughs> and it was awful! It was so much worse because not only did in November I had like a constant cough and I was still in the middle of my semester like towards the later half of it towards the end basically I was had a constant cough and I couldn't really do videos even though like doing semesters and videos is a little challenging even with the schedule I have because it's very difficult and we'll get into why later but December 2022 I caught COVID-19 for a second time around Christmas. I'm pretty sure it was like a day before Christmas or just around there or a day before Thanksgiving. Basically, it was Thanksgiving and Christmas. One month back to back, boom. And it was awful because not only did my throat and like the uvula, if you know what the uvula, uvula is, it's the, that middle thing right there the thing that's like a little punching bag for those of you who really don't know because sometimes when i say like even to like my parents or whatever it's like the my uvula feels a little weird it's like touching my tongue it's like what what is that what are you talking about and i had to kind of explain it but basically it's part of the gag reflex where if you touch it you go like uh, uh, it might make you feel like you might throw up or really like hack and it was touching my tongue constantly and it was not at all pleasant it kept getting worse i thought it was nothing else to start but then when my mother and I think my sister were out for Christmas or whatever to my to us, some people I know's house, I don't want to say too many names or too many like people, um, it got worse. I felt like I couldn't breathe. It kept touching my tongue. I was gagging. I was coughing. I was <clears throat> basically just not in a good place all at all. And I felt like I was going to throw up, but I never did. I was trying to use the bathroom too while it happened. I was on the toilet. Yes, this is, um, I'm, I'm, I'm Crash Master and I got sick on a toilet. Yeah, this is the internet. We monetize or input out our shame and problems, <laughs> even though this is not monetized. Oh God. But either way, point being, <clears throat> point being, yeah, it happened. I was freaking out. I finished my business, obviously. I felt like I couldn't breathe. I called up, I called my mother. 
Um, and I, she, I had, my grandma was luckily downstairs at the time, so she came up, she helped me through it, she even held my hand, I was, like, really uh, pretty shocked and uh, quite a bit afraid, like, I'm like, I don't know what's going on, I can't, feel like I can't breathe, I'm like, I'm like saying really, really deep things, and I honestly thought I was gonna die at a point where I was really, really afraid I was going to die, and... I never really felt like in my life where you feel like there are moments where you like might actually maybe if you're if you're unlucky enough and unfortunate enough to really feel that. That was one of those moments where I'm like, I don't want to go. I don't want to. I'm scared. I'm afraid. And I'm waiting here on my bed suffering. Literally the other side, not this bed, but similar bed on the the other side, uh, that direction on the um, <clears throat> the right side of the bed where she was holding my hand with the door open to my room so I can get out if I need to fast. And I'm like, I'm nauseous, I'm tired, I'm, I'm hot. And I'm like, I, I don't know what's going to happen to me. I was taken to the hospital. I had trouble breathing. But not only did they confirm that I, I... We didn't know until I got to the hospital that I was diagnosed with COVID a second time. I also had two viral infections, one that was respiratory... And one that was in my throat. Great. Just peachy. As well as, and yeah, and well as having tested positive for COVID a second time. Now, here's the thing about this. I'm just going to look over here to read this to make sure I don't mess it up too much. COVID-19 is a disease caused by a virus named SARS-CO2, uh, CO2, uh, COV, SARS, S-A-R-S, dash, COV-2. Because the first version was actually... Uh, apparently existed the, f the year I was born, so uh, looks like it had it out for me since the start, guys. Ugh, sorry, Lois. Ugh. F, F in the chat. F, F in the chat. Oh, it hurts. But either way, it most often causes respiratory symptoms that can feel much like a cold, the flu, or pneumonia. And when I first had it, it wasn't that bad besides the constant cough. I just felt kind of a little hot, a little tired. It's, it's like getting sick, you know? Like having a fever or a cold or like the flu or whatever. It's not the worst. Just a constant cough that really annoyed me a lot. Now, the difference between having something like antibiotics or something when treating bacteria, bacterial infections, is that it works by, it's that bacteria works by attacking your cells from the outside of it. It works by attacking the outside. The difference between that and a virus though is that viruses work by living inside your cell, not the outside attacking it. They go inside your cell and use them to reproduce and have the cell walls basically can't, they can't be really attacked by antibodies like bacteria, unfortunately. So that's why we even don't really have a cure for like the common cold or anything like that, even with all the technology we have. It's just really, really hard to treat viruses and certain infections, viral infections, compared to something like bacteria where, antibi where antibiotics can kind of just do anything. Anyway, um, this is, I don't want to go too much into the science. This isn't a, a video about like that. Um, but basically, this is what I wrote <clears throat> a little bit afterwards. During on January 7th, 2023, this is a community post I wrote because I was kind of updating a few for any of you who might not know or maybe did check it out and just didn't really do anything with it, which is totally fine. Uh, your choice. This is one I didn't post, but I did write on my phone because I was I still wasn't really feeling do like doing videos. January 7th, 2023, I wrote them. Uh, yeah, I wrote this is what I published, and here it goes. Hey everyone, I'm not going to be able to do much for a while. About a week or two ago, I got COVID for the second time and was taken to the hospital. I stayed for a few hours and was diagnosed with two viral infections. I was feeling a little better last weekend, uh, a little better like last weekend, but it's starting to take a, its toll on me again. I'm pretty weak, frail, and at this point, I'm fighting just to stay awake sometimes. <laughs> I'm still doing that, honestly, a little bit. All I can do is let these infections run their course since viral infections can't really be treated. I've been fighting this for about a week, and I'm pretty much hoping that I'll be better before the end of the month. I'm not really even playing games, making videos, or making any plans just yet. Just trying to get better. Hopefully you all understand. If you don't hear me for, for a while, anyways, I hope you all have fun, and remember to stay safe since it's winter. You don't know when a new variant may be near you. Later, guys. Oh, I should have said later, boys. But, yeah... 
I was not getting better. I was miserable. During that whole time, my throat was, like, raw. I, I just could not, like, breathing was a mess. Eating, I didn't want to eat whatsoever. I was nauseous. I was constantly nauseous. I was sick. I was tired. And I just only did the bare essentials to really survive. Uh, well, I say survive. Like, to really, actually, yeah, survive for quite a few weeks or months. I was eating things like white rice. I was just drinking tea and water constantly. I did not want to consume anything. And I honestly lost a lot of weight, which is one of, one of if not the only good thing about that whole process. Because I was over 300 pounds, and I came out under 200 pounds by quite a bit. And I'm still trying to maintain that weight loss. But... Honestly, I don't know if it was worth it. Spoiler alert, it wasn't. It was not worth it at all, mods. And honestly, it just... It was such an awful experience that I, I just... That really puts it in perspective. Because I know there's a whole thing of like how many people pass away from COVID. I was honest... I'm honestly so one of the lucky ones. And honestly, there were so many bad and dark thoughts going through my head at that point that I don't even I don't think I really should really talk about if I ever do a whole video or maybe an autobiography or something or just a biography in general I don't know maybe I'll put it in there but honestly there were a lot of bad and dark thoughts going through Crash Master's head then a lot of dark bad stuff but anyway it didn't get any better from there really I started feeling a little bit better a little bit getting my strength back a little bit fighting back a little bit <clears throat> But overall, by the time the new semester started, since it's usually there are four semesters usually, there's the summer semester for, for colleges, fall, which is August to December, December to January is the winter, and then, or you can take summer and winter, obviously, as a break. Um, it's, it's your choice compared to, like, normal school where you kind of have to go. And, um, and then you also have January to late May, which is the spring semester. And I tried to go back to spring semester, but literally the first or second day I was there, uh, I think I think it was the first day because it says first day here. I we were in the car and we were my mother, my grandma, my sister were all in the car with me. Uh, oh, was my grandma there? I, I don't remember. Hundred uh, percent. I know it was just my mother and sister at least mainly. And we were driving to drop me off, and I was and by the time we got a few blocks I was like really feeling like I was high I was feeling a fever I was nauseous it was just awful I'm telling you mom, it's like every time that car moved my stomach would lurch and I don't know about you but my mother her driving is pretty all over the place I'm not even gonna say it because I can't but but yeah either way based uh on based on that yeah it was every time that car, and we were there. They went to a Dollar Tree and a Dollar Store because that's like our favorite store everywhere. We were going a few places, and I'm like, I literally feel like I'm going to pass out. And I was resting back too. I was hot. I was tired. I was flushed. I was like, my stomach, my nausea, everything was just bad. So, Crash Master had to skip a semester of college. Yay! Don't you just love losing a whole half a year worth of progress when you're trying to get a degree and a job? So yeah, I opted out of the college semester of 2023, uh, the spring semester. Hooray! Which gave me more time to reflect and recover, but I still wasn't really making videos or doing much either, because I still couldn't, because my cough was just terrible. All around, everything was not 100% great. Around this time, uh, February 14th, uh, 11th to 15th, um, around there, uh, basically the second week of February, give or take, I was trying to figure out what was going on with me because I was testing negative for COVID and my viral infections were seemingly cleared up, but I still felt like I was not doing great. So knowing how I am, because for the past few years, and this is just a little side tangent, for the past few years, I've had a, a few health problems on my own. I've had high blood pressure, high sugar, I believe, high cholesterol I have right now, high sodium, um... Like, there's a whole thing and a half that I could really talk about, and that will maybe be covered in a future video someday. But either way, I've had my fair share of problems, and when things like that happen, even surgical, like surgical procedures, to an extent where I get depressed because, oh yeah, this thing happened to me, the doctors either don't know why, or it just happens. So, I get depressed. 
And I knew at this point that I'm like, oh yeah, I'm not doing well mentally. And I'm, I'm mature and old enough at this point. I have enough experience with my own brain where I'm like, oh yeah, I'm kind of just sitting in this room, literally surviving and not wanting to do jack with my life. I think I'm pretty sure I'm depressed since I especially can't go to college right now. And I feel like I'm wasting away. So I went to see a social worker. She did help me, and I stayed with her for quite a while. Uh, honestly, I've not been keeping too much in touch with them anymore because, um, just because of the fact that uh, it's been a little difficult, it's been a little tricky. I've been trying to get back into YouTube. College work has been all over the place, and I really, really need to focus because college is not easy, and you know you're paying for it. But anyway, I got there. She did help me a lot, especially. Um, this is where we're skipping a few months. But around, it was around mid, uh, it was around, uh, May, uh, a few months later, that at this point, I was diagnosed with anxiety and hypochondriasis, which is a te technical term for hypochondria, which if you know what that is, if you don't know what it is, um, it's an abnormal anxiety about one's health, especially with an unwarranted fear that one has a serious disease. And obviously... I, I did have this, but it obviously wasn't unwarranted to an extent. Like, not only did I go through COVID twice and have two viral infections, but I've also had a, a history of having bad stuff happen to me with my health. So it was not unwarranted, but not only did I have depression in some cases, especially for the past few years, which I have taken medication for and still do to an extent, but now the main issue is anxiety, which causes me to do things, if you see in this video, where I'm like, sometimes I might, like, lean back, do this with my neck, because, or even, like, um, I'll blink a lot sometimes, my ears are especially at one thing where it's like I twitch or flex my ears, and it's very annoying, <clears throat> and especially my throat, which is still on and off <clears throat> with the whole thing, and there are methods I am doing... Obviously, I occasionally do meditation. Uh, mints and certain like halls help me like breathe and clear my throat so it feels nice and smooth and a lot and not a lot of like irritation or anything like that. Uh, right now, I have some Altoids, which you know, like they they don't have a they only have a little bit of sugar. So as long as I don't eat like a million mints, I should be safe there. And even right now, I am drinking soothing, calming tea. Uh, which one is this? What was it? It was like chamomile tea? I don't know. I'm just going to take a sip since it's right here. <clears throat> there we go. Because I haven't done a video like this. I haven't talked like this much <clears throat> in a while. But anyway, what was the purpose of this video? Truly. Besides giving you a breakdown of, oh yeah, I got screwed. In late 2022, mid to early 2023. 2023 was the year I was going to go out all out for my YouTube channel. It was the year I wanted to show what I could do as a video creator, and my plan was that I was going to make the best and most unique videos I could possibly make. Not missing too many uploads or weeks of no videos or content, with no updates of why or what's going on. This was my year and my time to show everyone what I could do as a video creator. And I think it's pretty clear that wasn't the case. And... I am very sorry, even though it's not really my fault. Things like this just really can't be controlled entirely. Obviously, we can't predict when we're going to get sick entirely. And I was wearing masks, and even though I was a little bit loose, I still did wear masks when needed and stuff like that. And I even sat away from people, because I don't talk to people that much, you know. I have a social anxiety as well, which is great. I have depression, I have anxiety, social anxiety. I'm a hypochondriasis, hop, hop, or hap, Mr. Hippo, I don't know. Oh, man, I had the FNAF for since I just can't. And there's purple right there, too. Great. Oh, man. But either way, um, the summer went and passed. I don't really remember a ton at the top of my head what I really did the summer, but I did do the uh, the winter, the term, I believe it came up. Yeah, I was touch and go, you know. I was able to do the Michael Afton videos and stuff like that. So, obviously, I was able to record to <clears throat> some extent. I also am now making this video. I just started college once again in, uh, in uh, January. I took winter off because uh, I usually like having at least some good amount of breaks. And summers when stuff happens, so, you know. Even though a lot of stuff happens in fall, but I'm like, you're either too far away for me to go, or I'm too busy with college. Why are things happening in September? 
are. Kids and stuff are doing school and parents don't want to go on vacation. <sighs> I don't know, man. I don't know what's with September and stuff like that. Like October and other things. Yeah, it's seasonal holidays and events. But why September? It's not even early it's September. It's like mid to late September. I'm like, I can't do stuff. But anyway, the purpose of this video not only was to give updates to you all who have supported me. I see the comments. I see the love. I see the likes. Even especially to just some of you out there who are just so amazingly nice to me. Just this one guy making videos with less than a thousand subscribers who doesn't make money off of all of this. Probably loses money with like the lights and the camera and, the, and all of this. I literally, I literally bought a new microphone. I'm recording this. It's literally the upgraded version of the old one I have, but the old one's dial broke, so I wasn't able to control the volume. But I just want to say thank you to all of you so much for supporting me, writing nice comments, just watching even a few minutes of my video and it really does mean a lot and i'm gonna try to make 2024 a bit of a recovery year i can't say there's gonna be a lot of videos fast i can't say there's gonna be a lot of content soon soon uh hopefully it will be like relatively nearby because i'm recording this in february late february the 24th and I'm th and honestly, I wanted to record. I wanted to make the video come back on January. But then I got sidetracked with stuff in my head and school. February. Now I feel like it's too late. So maybe this will be uploaded at the start of March. Maybe it'll be uploaded in the middle of March, which I'm hoping it'll be like early middle. I don't know. I'm hoping that it'll be either late winter, which I'm in, or early spring, not mid spring or summer or anything like that, because I want to come back this year. And try a few different things before I get back into the flow with my games and stuff like that. There are plans and scripts being made. Especially with things like Minecraft, Terraria, Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2, Five Nights at Freddy's. Oh, there's going to be so much Five Nights at Freddy's content out there. And, yeah. But also, should I say it here? I don't know. Maybe that'll be an update or another video because this whole video is kind of long and it's already not the best time. But basically, plans are being made. New things are fortunately being retired or put on stale because I am going to try to do my best to grow the channel while I can in some way. I don't want this. This is not my... This is a passionate hobby that I want to continue because it helps me be creative and express things and try to get people out there to connect with me as well as like seeing if you guys like this or... You know, maybe we could just, like, get, like, have, like, sessions or something like that. I don't know. Discord's a big thing now. And I've been going on Discord a lot, especially with other people and making friends. So, maybe if we could do something like that someday, that would be great. But, anyway, that's a topic for another day. I am still battling. I am still taking medication for my head. I have anxiety. It's sometimes better. It's sometimes worse. But that kind of thing happens. Because unfortunately, after everything I've been through physically, and I've always bounced back so hard and so much, the one thing that even I really can't control, at least not entirely, it's in here. And that's what I realized partially when I went to see that social worker. A lot of that stuff, why I felt like it wasn't getting better, it was in here moments. It's in the mind sometimes. And for someone like me who really has one of those things where it's like, I don't have a lot going for me personally, eh, what I feel like, my intelligence and my brain has been one of those strong things where I'm like, this is something I'm pretty exceptional, exceptional in my opinion. Though it's not perfect, and I know I'm not the smartest ever. Hey, I'm nowhere near the smartest I wish I, I was. I'm still learning and still doing stuff. It's been one of the feats where it's like, that's the one part of me where I'm like, I have like little to no problems. And it's my strongest suit. Honestly, it was a bit of a blow to have this. But I've had practice. I've matured. I've grown older. Lord knows. And as you can see from these eyes, I've grown more tired 
my god, I look- Why do I look so tired, Ma? <laughs> oh my god, is it the lights? Is it the lights doing that? I have no idea why I look so derangled or derag- Whatever the word is, like, I look so exhausted. <laughs> Which, I mean, I don't even feel too tired right now anyway, even though I'm recording this at 9pm, what, 9.23 now. But, either way, enough about my, my, uh, my appearance. Just make this the thumbnail of the video. <laughs> make this a meme. Me when Crash Master skips the, me when Crash Master says he's gonna upload, but does it. <laughs> I can't not laugh now. It's just like, ugh. It's like, where is this guy, right? Where is this man? Where is he? What's he doing with his life? He's doing a lot. He's doing a lot. Trust me. Oh, man. But anyway, I can tell this video is getting pretty damn long. But don't you worry. The Crash Master's still here. He's staying strong. He's not giving up quite just yet. He was considering it, honestly. All these YouTubers... Which is a video I'll probably make at some point in March or April. Touching two very specific people. If you made it to this video, two very specific people who have impacted my life quite a bit. But the Crash Master is still here. He has not hung up the jacket yet. It's not in the closet. It's right here on my chair. Especially with the shirt. Looks pretty nice, I, I think. It's on brand for me. But anyway, that's going to be the end of the video. I'm sorry this is a bit of like a... I don't know, a podcast uh, kind of thing, like just me splurging, getting this all out, because honestly, another purpose of this video was also to make it sort of therapeutic. Get my feelings out, get my ups my emotions out, my a little bit of my frustration out, and I feel a little bit better, especially since this video was partially kind of a test to see if I could really talk this long and be alright, and I think I did alright. Not perfect, obviously, but I think I did okay. And if that's enough for you, all of you mites, then hey, I'm okay with that, and I'll keep fighting on to make my content even better. But anyway, that's being said, hopefully you, I say you enjoyed the video, hopefully you all understood the video. Please make sure to crash into the like button, crash into the subscribe button, and if you really want to be notified about when the next videos are coming out, don't forget to crash into that notification bell to stay notified on the channel's next videos, it always is appreciated. Leave a comment. Maybe we can make a conversation about what happened to you during the pandemic and how you feel. I don't know. It'd be nice to see what other people have sort of gone through as well. But until next time, I'll see you all later. Let them on!